Okay, to join the outer portion of color F, you make your first two rounds as normal. And then we're going to join by chaining three, double crochet to chain two space. Now because we're going to be joining it sideways like this, we're going to go further on the motif before we join. So we're going to chain three for the side, double crochet back in the chain two space, double crochet in each of the next two stitches, part of the hair that got in the way. I don't know about you, but a lot of the things I make have samples of my DNA in it from my hair. Okay, let's chain, make three double crochet and then chain one, skip one, make three double crochet. Chain one, skip one, make three double crochet in the point, or in the chain four space rather. Three, and then we're going to chain two, and then this piece here, if you look at your chart, goes right here sideways between the flying geese of color C. So I'm going to pick up the diamond on the right and single crochet in that chain five loop. Chain one. Sorry it's so out of shot there. Make three double crochet back into the chain five loop. single crochet in the next chain one space of the motif on the right. Skip a double crochet, double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And this is just like it was for the center portion. Okay, and then single crochet in that chain one space. And then skip a double crochet double crochet in each of the next two double crochet and double crochet in the chain two space and then you look at your joining since there's only one I'm going to put it in the center of my chain three loops so a chain one a single crochet in the joining chain one Double crochet back in the chain two space. Double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And that's your three double crochet group. And then you pick up the motif on the left. And then I'm gonna find my space. Okay, single crochet in the next chain one space. Skip a double crochet and double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Then go in the next chain one space and make a single crochet. Skip a double crochet and make three double crochet in that chain four space. Okay, chain five loop and I'm going to make one join. So I'm going to chain two, single crochet in the chain five loop, chain two. Okay, and now I'm going to pivot my work the best I can here with this bulk. Just kind of put a twist in the afghan. 
Put my yarn behind my hook there. All right. Make three double crochet in the chain four space. Chain one, skip a double crochet, and double crochet in next three double crochet. Chain one, skip a double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet, which is the last one on the round. Slip stitch in the top of your chain three, and end off the work. So that's how it's positioned. The next one will be joined in this spot right here. So I'm going to draw in my tails, do rounds one and two of that diamond, and show you how to join that on. And then um, we'll do it on all four corners on our own. I'll come back and we will go over the border. We're almost finished. Happy crocheting.